proxy ARP. Proxy Address Resolution Protocol, as defined in RFC 27, 1027, was implemented to enable devices that are separated into physical network segments connected by a router in the same IP network or subnetwork to resolve IP to MAC addresses. When devices are not in the same data link layer network but are in the same IP network, they try to transmit data to each other as if they were on the local network. An example of this scenario is this here. So uh, I have a router, or we have a router, R1, and PC1, PC2, and server1. And these are the switches. Uh, switch1 and switch2 are just layer 2 switches. So let's look at uh, PC2. So PC2 is, has this IP address. 10.1.1.2 slash 8 and if this PC it needs to communicate with a server in this IP subnet or subnet 10.2.2.0 uh, uh, slash 24 and of course its IP address is, is that one. PC2 thinks that server is in the same uh, subnet, but in reality it's not, right? So uh, PC2 has this um, subnet and server uh, 1 has this subnet. So PC2 thinks that you know server is in the same subnet because PC2 is actually using this subnet, slash 8. And of course, um, this subnet is actually still uh, this subnet. When I say this subnet, 10.2.2.0 slash 24 is actually still in uh, slash 8 subnet here. So that's why the that's why PC2 uh, actually sends a broadcast to server one. So that's what this uh, sentence is saying here. When devices are not in the same subnet, in the same data link network, but are in the same IP network, they try to transmit, transmit data to each other as if they were on the local network. However, the router that separates the devices that will not send a broadcast message because routers do not do not pass hardware layer broadcasts. Therefore, the addresses cannot be resolved. So proxy ARP is enabled by default. Uh, so the proxy router that resides between the local networks responds with its MAC address as if it were the router to which the broadcast is addressed. Um, when the sending device receives the MAC address of the proxy router, it sends the, excuse me, the datagram to the proxy router, which in turn sends the datagram to the designated device. Proxy ARP is invoked by the following conditions. The target IP address is not on the same physical network on which the request is received. Uh, the networking device has one or more routes to the target IP address. All of the routes to the target IP address go through interfaces other than the one on which the request is received. So in this scenario, we are just, I mean, in this video, we are just um, invoking this condition here. This uh, the first condition, which is the target ad IP address is not on the same physical network on which the router the request is received. So in that case here, from server one's perspective, yeah. So I've got some notes here. Um, 
course, this video I mean, I, is about how proxy up works. Um, yeah, you can actually actually disable ARP on an interface, and this is the command. Yeah, and of course this is how you clear clear the ARP cache or ARP table. But let me actually go to R1 and show you that it is uh, enabled by default, as it says here. Here. So R1 I'm going to oh, I can actually just copy and paste this command here. Here, proxy ARP is enabled, and of course this interface is facing PC1 and PC2 in our topology. Okay, so let's look at this topology now. Uh, let's go to PC1 and actually ping uh, server 1. 10.2.2.1. Let's look at the ARP table first. Show IP ARP. Let's clear IP ARP. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, the server one IP address is not in the routing in the ARP table yet. I'm going to ping the server server one IP address 10.2.2.1. And if I look at the ARP table, I will see it. No, oh, sorry, uh, I will not be able to see it because it's in the same. It's in the, it's in a different network. I will I will only see the IP address of R1 and its MAC address, which is here. Here I I uh, added the MAC address of R1's gig zero slash zero here. So looking at this same and this is of course the IP address of R1, and we can verify that as well just by doing a show IP interface brief here. Okay, so that's that's a normal ARP. Let's uh, lo let's go to PC2 and let me let me just do show IP ARP. Yeah, it's so it's just um, has the its IP address in its uh, MAC address, which is local. So let's ping. Let's ping server 1, 10.2.2.1. So this is how this is how proxy ARP works. So basically, um, let's look at uh, show IP ARP. So now we see that um, the Server, server one IP address is here in the ARP table, but the MAC address is actually uh, R1. I mean, the MAC address of uh, gig zero slash zero on R1. So here, same, same here. So that's that's how proxy ARP works. So instead of um, instead of the normal ARP, which is what we saw here, uh, we see the the server one IP address because you know PC2 thinks that server one is in the same uh, subnet. And of course, we can you know just go to server one and just show you that it's got a different MAC address here. 
if we go here, yeah, it's not the it's not the server one MAC address. It's the R1's MAC address. So I've got this uh, document, and I will also add this document in the description, which is a really good document talking about proxy ARP, and they uh, gave us an example on how um, proxy up works. But uh, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.